Hey guys, I am Flo of AllNigeriaRecipes.com. I love Obono soup, but one of my cooking peeps is grinding Obono with my coffee grinder. In Nigeria, we have this manual grinder that grinds Obono very well. Even if the Obono seeds are not very dry, this grinder does a great job of grinding them. Outside Nigeria, or for those of us in Nigeria who don't want to use the manual grinder, we resort to coffee grinders or spice grinders and these grinders just do an okay job of grinding obono fair enough they are not made for grinding obono we are just forcing them <laughs> trying to adapt them to our local ingredients and as if we don't have enough problems with this during the rainy season or winter months, the obono seeds become damp, making it even more difficult to grind them with coffee grinders. But as a Niger woman, I always find a way to show these kitchen appliances who is boss. So to grind my obono seeds, I start by cleaning them with a brush. The seeds can get dusty from the particles that are released when they knock against each other. You know, when you put them in a container and you shake the container, these small particles fall out, making them dusty. After that, I toss to remove the dust and particles and grind in a coffee grinder. You can see that these seeds are so damp. While some of them have turned into powder, some are still whole seeds. It's as if I did not put them in the coffee grinder at all. Pour that batch into a plate and grind more the same way. I usually grind the quantity of obono that I'll use to cook soup about three times. This gives my coffee grinder a break. If you grind a large quantity at a sitting, the coffee grinder will overheat and stop working. So many whole seeds. <laughs> I then use the sieve to sift it. And wrap the ones that do not grind very well in aluminium foil like this and set aside till the next time I want to grind obono. Then I grind this one again. If you look closely, you see some not so fine particles that pass through the mesh of the sieve. When happy, I pour it into this my special container for ground obono. You see how much finer the particles are? All set, ready to be used in cooking delicious obono soup. The next time I want to grind obono, I start with these ones that did not grind very well. By now, they are much drier and should grind better than before. Much better, eh? Then you go through the whole process of sifting it and setting the ones that did not grind very well aside till next time. This is why I have this peeve with grinding obono. All the extra work of sifting and grinding a second time is not something I look forward to. Even though I'm talking about my peeve with grinding obono, I hope you learned something new from this video. Comment below to tell me about your cooking peeves. Bye!